Okay, today we are going to look at the relationship of three lines. So before we do that, I'm going to place, well, as we do this, I'm sorry, I'm going to place two sticks on the board, okay? I'm going to secure them, and I said board, I should have said plane, because that's what we're talking about here is this plane. So I'm going to secure these two sticks to the plane. <clears throat> what we want to remember is that they're not sticks as much as they are lines. And I will define them with red arrows in a second. But what we've essentially done is we have divided this plane, this area, into three regions. Okay? Three specific areas. So, the areas that are outside of these lines, these areas are of the plane are what we call the exterior. Okay? Exterior. The red area is defined as the exterior. The area of the plane between the two sticks, I'm going to color blue, and we are going to call that the interior. Now I'll just throw these arrows in here just to remind you that these are lines that are going forever. And the arrowheads dictate the directions. So we have the exterior regions of the plane and we have the interior region of the plane. So now let's remove these labels. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to put them over here just to remind us, interior and exterior, okay? Now I'm going to take another stick. I am going to cross these two sticks or these two lines. So this is actually going to be another line that is going to go forever, okay? So what I've created here is a transversal. This blue stick intersects the two green sticks. And let me rewind that and say this blue line intersects these two green lines. I've created a transversal, comes from Latin transversare, which means to cross. I've crossed them. When I've done that, I have created eight angles. Here and here, here and here, here and here, and here, and here. Eight angles. And what I'll do is I will use my thumbtacks to show you the eight angles. I'll place these. And now I will go to the interior of the plane and place my tacks here. Two more to go after this one. And switching finger. Oh, don't poke yourself. Switching fingers. All right. And one more. I didn't want to secure my transversal. I don't have tacks long enough. All right. So I've now used the red tacks to show the angles. So we talked about dividing this plane into three regions, exterior, exterior, and interior. Well, now we can name these angles, and I bet some of you might already be ahead of me. So the blue tacks are interior angles. There are four interior angles. One, two, 
three, four. And my red tacks are exterior angles. Okay? I have one, two, three, four exterior angles. We're going to do more work with interior and exterior angles because there's relationships going on in here too. But that comes a few lessons down the road when we start to look at the study of angles. That concludes the study of lines. Thanks so much for watching all of these lessons. Have a great day.